Hi, I'm Heather from Car Seat Site, and today we're going to be installing the Britax One for Life All-in-One Car Seat. We're going to install it rear-facing with the anti-rebound bar. This car seat rear faces from 5 to 50 pounds and for children less than 49 inches. There are several things we need to be concerned about as we install it rear-facing. For instance, we need to put it into the correct recline angle for a child based on the head control of the child, how our vehicle seat is angled. We're parked on a flat surface here in the garage. We also have a few other things that we need to be concerned about. So we're going to do that as we go through the installation. I'm going to walk you through that. First, you'll notice that it's forward facing. We don't want that. We never install the car seat forward facing with the anti-rebound bar. This is a rear facing only feature. So we are going to turn the seat rear facing. We'll do that like this. And you'll also notice that it's really upright. That does not look correct to me at all. And it shouldn't look correct to you either. So we're going to look at the recline angle. Right now it's set to B, which is for booster mode. So we're going to set it into the proper recline angle and I'm going to set it for a newborn. So the recline angle is adjusted right here with this button on the back of the seat on the base. Now we don't need to reach around to the other side. There's a button on each side. We just choose the button that's closest to us. It's a, just a, on the one side. So we just press this and help it into the proper recline. And I know for my vehicle, it needs to be on the most reclined um, in order to get it to where we want it to be. And this is our recline indicator window. And so we want it to be on the blue for the most reclined. And so the blue is for children who don't have any head control. So that would be for newborns or babies who haven't quite done all their tummy time. Make sure that it's in the blue. The green zone, which is kind of a hashed area right there, the green zone is for kids who have more head control. So those are for older kids who can be more upright. So in my car, we want it to be right here in the blue. And we are, let's see, right on the edge. So I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to my vehicle seat bite, which is it's basically the crack in the seat. The bite is the crack of the seat. So that'll get it a little bit more reclined. And that's where we want it to be. Now, the base of the car seat needs to be flat on the vehicle seat. We don't want the base to lift up off of the vehicle seat at all. It needs to be flat. Um, if it lifts off of the vehicle seat, that's no good. It's not a good installation. So we need this to be nice and flat. So need that. Now, another thing you're probably looking at right now is this anti-rebound bar. Let me get my seat belt out of the way so you can see it. The anti-rebound bar really is only making contact right here where it angles up. So it's not really making any contact right here. I have checked with Britax, I have some contacts there, and they say it's okay. So they've checked with their engineers, they say it's okay, not a problem. So the anti-rebound bar, remember is, um, rebound is when the car seat comes up and goes this way. So this is the motion it's making. And you can see I can't even make the motion with the car seat. So the anti-rebound bar is doing its job as I try to lift the head of the car seat and move it that way. So we'll put it into position get it back where I want it to be, and everything looks okay. There we go. Now, we need to get this installed. Which method are we going to use? Are we gonna use the seatbelt or are we gonna use latch? The click type panel is designed to be installed with the seatbelt. We don't wanna use latch with the click type panel. And the reason is it's easier to install with the seatbelt. If we use latch, what happens is we get it installed and we pull the latch belt tight and then maybe it's too tight. So then we have to loosen the latch up and then maybe it's too loose. And then we have to tighten it up again and then maybe it's too tight again. Well, with the seat belt, it's just easier to just let a little bit out and close the panel again. 
it's super easy with the seatbelt. So that's why it's been, that's why the recommended method is to install with the seatbelt. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open up our click type panel, run the seatbelt through, close the click type panel, and it's done. It literally takes less than a minute. I've timed myself, super easy. So we're going to open the click type panel. To open the click type panel, which is right here, we're going to lift this seat pad right here. The seat pad is usually held down with these elastics. So we just lift that up and the click type panel is to open it is just two red buttons. You squeeze them together and then lift it up. Now you'll notice it's not lifting very far. So we can't have access to our rear facing belt path. The rear facing belt path is right here. So what's the deal? The deal is all of this padding right here and the head wings. In order to access that, just lift up the head wings. Make it easy on yourself. We're going to lift up and do that. And my head wings didn't come up very far because my harness is tight. So I'm gonna loosen my harness, come down here to where the harness pull strap is, press on the button down here on the lever, pull my harness loose, that gives me more slack, and then the head wings pull up higher. Now, when I lift up, that click type panel opens all the way up, and I have full access to my rear facing belt path. Now, I take my seat belt, put both of the lap and the shoulder belt, both go through here. Run it through and buckle. All you have to do now is just take the slack out. You don't have to pull the seat belt super tight. You don't have to leave a whole bunch of slack in here. Just pull the slack out. That's it. You saw the amount of work I did on that seat belt. It was just pull the seat belt through and then we're gonna close the panel. I'm gonna climb up into the car just to get a better angle because if I try and close it right here, it's, it's just not gonna work very well. So I'm just gonna climb up right here, close the panel. It's closed and instantly you can see how much tighter that lap belt got. And you'll hear that panel close. You'll hear a nice click. Now check for tightness. You want to check with your non-dominant hand. That's the hand you don't write with. So check. And you can see that it's moving less than an inch. In fact, it's shaking my car. It's so tight. Okay, that is super tight. It is not moving at all. You can hear how tight that seatbelt is. So that's how you install it. The click type panel is a true lock off, which means you do not have to lock your seatbelt. So there's no reason to lock shoulder belt. So just leave that alone. That's all it is to it. That's click tight. We've got the anti-rebound bar. We've got your click type panel closed. Now the next thing to do is to put the headrest back down. Make sure that you fit your child into the seat. The harness needs to be just below. So make sure that you fit that harness to your child's shoulders. Also, make sure that you can't take a pinch of the harness. If you can take a pinch of the harness above the chest clip, it's too loose. So you wanna make sure you snug up that harness each and every ride. If it's loose at any of your rides that you go in the car, it's too loose and your child could be ejected in a crash. So make sure you always snug up that harness. So just give that harness a nice little tug. And that's it. That's how you install it. Now. To 
uninstall the seat to take it back out, there's a method to that too. Because there's so much tension on this seat belt, we need to remove that tension before we open the click tight panel. Number one, unbuckle the seat belt first, then open the click tight panel. Then you can open the click tight panel. Then you can remove the car seat. And that is how you install and uninstall a Britax One for Life rear facing car seat. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Car Seat Site channel and share with your friends.